Alright, welcome to the vlog. What's up? My name's CJ Faison. Uh, if you're looking for my main channel, that's not it right here. This is the vlog channel. This is where all the craziness and fun happens. And anyway, long story short, I'm lucky to, enough to have my mom work for me. Got my cousin Jamie out here. I've got Danny. And then, of course, I've got Sonny here. But we have an idea, okay? We're gonna keep this harmonica in our mouth. We're gonna hit the shit out of each other with a trash can lid. It's gonna be great. No, it's so dumb. Huh? Why are you doing this? This is dumb. No, it's not. This, this is gonna be so funny as hell. I don't know. This is gonna be this funny is, as hell. This is not right. Actually, I'm gonna hit you first. He said get the stick. No, we're gonna hang him up. Hambo, hambo, where are you going? <laughs> get my, get my, uh, what do they call them, them spoons on the, on the, the spoons. Yeah, that's what they call them. <laughs> All right, ready? I feel bad for doing this. I, I get you back, so it's, it is what it is. Hey, you know what, you should probably go first. <laughs> Why? Well, no, I... <laughs> One more person, you'd be the three stooges. <laughs> Don't break my tailbone, all right? I gotta sit down tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna choke on the harmonica. He's gonna scream at you. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna hurt so. You just have to do it, because he's not gonna let you. Just do it. He got me right in the leg. The leg ass region, the ass leg the region. Last. The last. He got me right in the last. Good thing it wasn't the last hole. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going here and here to Editor Dylan's office so that way we can. No, I know things. Uh, we have footage that we. Huh? It what? Are you not doing You're whacking. Oh. Back here, Dylan's whacking. left off in a previous vlog. This is the new miniature motivated warehouse. This is uh, actually just where every order gets picked and then uh, shipped out basically. So if you follow along from the, I guess, yesterday's video, it might be, I don't know when I'm gonna upload these, but the previous vlog, you'll understand that I really only had this table right here and this shelf. So I went and I bought another shelf and another shelf right here. 
Again, this vlog channel is not about the haunted and abandoned adventures that I go on. This is about my life outside of that. So I'm creating a miniature uh, warehouse here, actually right back outside of my house. All of the bulk inventory, there's boxes upon boxes like this, t-shirts right around this corner and back down there. But this in here is a little bit more neat and organized. It's unfinished out there. This is finished in here. What I got here is this. I got boxes everywhere. Don't mind the mess. I am going to be having the new motivated t-shirt on. Before we get into things, I wanted to explain uh, the shelving and why I decided to do it in rows like this instead of going all the way against the wall. Simply because it's a lot more effective room wise. Now uh, I probably got to get a chair to level to that desk, but that's here and over there. So right now I am uh, scatterbrained to say the least. I'm trying to get some of the sunglasses inventory right now and basically what that means is they all have their barcode labels on them so I don't know if that will focus in there on the barcode but yeah there you go. So basically everything runs off of a barcode system to ensure the accuracy of your order from shopmotivated.com. Right now there's not any products that are available on there because you all completely sold me out. And the way that this worked was t-shirts and hoodies and apparel like that was uh, coming out of my office in Charlotte. And then all of the sunglasses and hats came out of my office here in Delaware. So warehousing was a huge issue. I didn't have enough room in Charlotte to properly make it go. I also didn't have the help and, and right people in place in order to make it go as well. So that's really my fault. So that's why I took it all into my hands and said, you know what? I'm gonna do it my way. I'm gonna do it the way that I know it will work when I'm in charge of everything. So I package all the orders, I touch your order, I put your order together, everything. Like, that's what's so cool. Like, what other creator is out there doing this? Packaging their own orders and signing and autographing the boxes that are going to you. So I'm here to be different, I'm here to be very unique and change the game. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I'm doing. I got this nice label printer right here and these are all my labels. So I'm packaging up some of the sunglasses as you can see. I, I don't even really know where to start with this other than this vlog is gonna be pretty scattered. I have attention deficit disorder so I'm doing like this and that and that and this and this. It is an absolute pain. I'm getting there slowly but surely so follow me along for the next, I don't know how long this time lapse will be but let's go. Okay, here's a quick update. I wasn't really recording this, but I actually got all of the neck gaiter mask things. They're all barcoded up, as you can see. They're barcoded, and all of them actually have another barcode, so that way, again, quality control is what it's all about. Some of the new stuff that I will show you are the all new, hang on, motivated wristbands. Let's see if y'all can like, eh. All right, I think y'all get the point. Sweet new motivated wristbands, actually. We got the black and white ones and the white and black ones, so I'm really pumped up about that. These items are gonna soon be on the website, I promise. Um, so right over here, so far, the only ones I've got inventoried in are the Vero Sunrise Edition, the Vero Coastal Editions, the Vero Seafoam Editions, and the Vero Palms Editions. All about motivated, I wear. By yours truly. So this is kind of the mini warehouse starting to get set up. What my thought process is this, is all of this is gonna be sunglasses and I already know that my shipment that I'm getting in here in a couple weeks is gonna fill this plus another one. So that's a different story. All of this right here, this is all gonna be accessories and then those down there are going to be t-shirts. So the more I think about it, the more I'm gonna need a lot more shelves. Um, I completely bought Sam's Club out of shelves today. So uh, that's a fun fact for you. Got some more tape right here that I've stocked up on. I got this really cool piece here and this is actually gonna go up on the wall and where that's gonna go. I was gonna put it right up here, but I'm actually gonna put it right here. So then that way I can like hang the tape 
Okay, that was interesting. I can, uh, I, that way I can hang the tape right there and all that good stuff. One thing that I did want to mention, this is me giving you advice. If you're starting your own business or you're starting your own clothing brand, something along those lines, you can go with people, and I'm not gonna call out too many names. You can create your brand, but it's not your brand unless you're housing it here. Does that make sense? So there's a lot of websites like you can create like a t-shirt and then when somebody orders it, it'll print it and then send it out. That to me loses one thing, personal touch. So you're personally losing touch with your brand. Are you saving a little bit of time? Absolutely, but I would rather put my time into my brand to ensure the quality of the product, to ensure the, the, the fast shipping rates, all that good stuff. I mean, there's, 20 some boxes of t-shirts that are now printed. Yeah, the more I'm looking at this, as you can see, there's actually a pretty wide gap in between these. So my thought process is keep it simple and keep it efficient. That's, that's the key there. And if I have to have two people start working in here to help me pick orders and box them up, it's just what I have to do. So what will happen here is this shelving is gonna have to be moved over and there's gonna be barely enough of a walkway to get in. Because if that's the case, now you're talking about, I got one, two, put three, four, five. So I can fit five shelves total. So if I got two more rows, I think I'd, I'd, I'd pretty well be in business because I'm only keeping certain inventory. So I've already got it measured out. I'm, I'm really weird in particular about this kind of stuff, okay? The neck gator things, those are gonna sell out pretty quick. The wristbands, the motivated wristbands, those are gonna sell out pretty quick. If I've got a product that is really off the wall or different, I'm only gonna put one of the bins, maybe two stackable bins uh, together, kind of like I did here. It's all about efficiency, and you have to come up with what's efficient for you, what makes sense for you, what makes sense for your brand. So it's more than, this is so much more than just saying, hey, I designed a really cool shirt and some really neat uh, wristbands and stuff, and, and yeah, let's, let's go sell it online way more to it. One thing that I, I have not done, I have not spent a single dollar on advertising. Not for this company at least. Now my other company has probably spent more than I'd like to admit on advertising and marketing. But this here is solely pushed through my YouTube stuff. And I, I appreciate everyone for that because without you all, this product would not even be stocked up. It would be stocked up actually, it would, it would just sit here. So I try to create my brand and price point, again, my profit margins are probably smaller than what they should be, but at the end of the day, I'm moving a lot of product. So it kind of, it kind of balances it out. Like the sunglasses that I sell, like the new ones, the Vero, the Vero's by Motivated, those are actually, the quality of those, they should be selling for 80, 85, 90 bucks. I'm selling them for 45 because I don't have distributors, I don't have retailers. Like you'll never find these in stores, not yet at least. The brand might go there one day, who knows? But right now, I keep it small and keep it simple because my thought process is this. These sunglasses, in order for my profit margins to be where they are, that means a retailer is gonna have to charge you 85, 90 bucks for this exact same pair of sunglasses, okay? Now it's convenient, you go to the store, yada yada, I get it. But the difference is this. I'm all about saving money and I'm all about giving somebody an amazing product at an amazing discount and them loving it. And that's what I hope that you all get out of this. So think about that. When you're starting your own company or your own business and stuff, you gotta make sure it's profitable and make sure it's worth your while. But at the same time, you gotta think about the customer. The end result is what everything matters in business, in my opinion at least. I don't feel like I've done too bad. But this here, this is how, this is how small brands become big. You have to think big. You have to think down the road. My price points, uh, I can easily go up on, but then again, you're gonna sit on some product a little bit longer. There's more people out there that can afford $45 than they are 90. Me, if I see a $90 pair of sunglasses, I'm like, ah, I don't know. 45, I'm feeling pretty good about that. You know what I mean? It's nice quality, the same quality you're gonna get at any major uh, sunglass manufacturer or retailer. Uh, that's, that's what I strive for. I don't wanna put a cheap pair of sunglasses on your head and say, yeah, I made profit, that's stupid. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what's going on right now and that's exactly what I have kind of set up. So I didn't time lapse any of this here. I showed you a little bit of the process of me boxing up the stuff and then um, uh, you know, printing out the barcode labels. Another thing that people don't think about, I think about this deeply, is packaging. So packaging to me is another deal that 
Well, I think it's pretty important. This is a box. This is a sunglass box right here, and I think you guys probably saw me putting these together, but they're super simple and easy to put together. I designed these. This was actually an original design uh, from many years ago that I kind of brought back because I love the logos, I love the look, I love the feel of it. I changed a few things on it, but other than that, it's a new brand, new look, you know. You gotta think about packaging because me, when someone opens, when somebody gets that cardboard box at their house, and then they open the cardboard box, right? Ah, it's like Christmas. All right, well then, they get another box. That technically would be this box right here. All done. And then they open this box. And then they open the packaging that the sunglasses are wrapped in. And then they take the soft film off the front of the lens. It's, to me, it's about the experience when somebody orders something. You're looking forward to coming in the mail, and now I'm enhancing your experience by giving you more than what you expected. I don't know, it's little weird, quirky things like that that I think make a big, big difference. Another thing uh, that I also produce myself, if you all have seen some of the past vlogs, I print all of my own stickers. Now, this is not a white background sticker. This sticker actually comes off and it's die cut, as you can see. The shape of the logo is the actual shape of the sticker. It's not some cheap square sticker. I've got uh, the Delaware Demon Hunter stickers in uh, all kinds of different sizes. I also have the basic motivated square logo. So there's there's some options. The sticker, there, you get a sticker with every order. That's just kind of the way that we've been doing it. I think it's fun. I, I, you know, you're gonna stick it somewhere, whether it's on a gas pump or wherever, your mom's car. Something, you're gonna stick it somewhere. So, I, in the last vlog, I didn't let you all see these shirts, and there was a reason behind that, because I kinda wanna keep the suspense going. But, I will say this, I do have some big, big, big news coming in the next vlog. So, I, I'm trying to decide whether I want to start what I would consider daily or um, every other day vlogging uh, because I, I really enjoy taking you all along with with me on this journey Just showing you the behind the scenes of my life like people don't people don't understand this. You know, I've taken three nights off now Setting all this up cleaning out this room kind of getting it to a, a basic um, Situation where I could put shelving and and stuff like that a Wi-Fi a router extender thing and just all kinds of stuff So if you all want me to daily vlog, I don't know if that's too much I feel like I can do it because I'm, I'm holding a camera no matter where I go and what I do. Or maybe every other day vlogs. Kind of up to you all. Comment below, let me know. But when I say I have major news, this is earth shattering, breaking news. I mean, awesome news. I'm gonna give you all a hint. And I also want you all to comment below what you think this big news is, okay? There's gonna be a lot of lucky people that watch this video that participate in something that I've got coming up. And you don't have to go anywhere to participate in this, but you're gonna be able to do a lot with me in person. This is this is something that I've, I've this is a, uh, I can't take all the credit for this because I have an idea. See, I saw an idea online and I'm like, perfect. I can make this an even better idea for everyone. So, if you don't mind, Comment below what you think it is, and uh, I'm gonna basically see you all on the next vlog. It might be tomorrow or the next day or something like that, but uh, turn the post notifications on if you will. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up here for the night. I think I'm pretty much done. Actually, I'm not done. I'm gonna keep on working, and maybe I'll update you on the next vlog, who knows. But without any further ado, if you wanna see more of these business type vlogs and me giving you all some you know, little uh, bits and pieces of information, please let me know as well. If y'all really dig this video, drop a thumbs up on it, kind of helps that out. And if you haven't seen my main channel, the link is in the description. That one's growing rapidly as well. So I love y'all so much, and I will see you all next time.